Hi, I'm Susanna Winnegar. I'm one of the senior specialists for our NITS online auctions. And I want to let you know about a fabulous auction we have up right now of contemporary color photography that is live now until December 19th. It includes a wide variety of photography, um, including some of the early practitioners from the 1970s, like Joel Myrowitz, Stephen Shore, and William Eggleston. It also includes some celebrity photography from the 1980s by Annie Leibovitz, as well as some blue chip contemporary artists like Marilyn Minter, Maura Mora, and Robert Polidari. Um, there, are, uh, there are also artists that are included from across the globe, such as Lu Bolin from China, Hassan Hajjaj from Morocco, and Massimo Vitali from Italy. I would like to highlight a piece in particular by Thomas Roof that I find to be one of the most challenging pieces in our sale that is called Substratum. Roof broke new grounds with this work 12 years ago when he created a series called Substratum. They are essentially cameraless photographs where there are no negatives. The images were appropriated from Japanese anime or manga on the internet and they have an intense neon color that is completely manipulated and distorted so there is no referent. Since these works are no longer identifiable in terms of what they reference, they become instead about pure color and pure form and the undulating abstract fields. Roof uses a series to raise questions about the possibility of abstraction in photography with every series Roof works on, he is always pushing the boundaries of photography, asking what is the nature of photography. Hello, my name is Bree Hughes from Artnet Auctions. Um, I'm going to tell you about another work that I'm very excited about in the Contemporary Color Sale. Um, the work is by Marilyn Minter. The title is Bridal, and she made this work in 2004. It's a chromogenic print on aluminum. Um, it is estimated at 15 to 20,000, and the work is typical of Minter's work in that it's um, sexy and glamorous, but yet there's kind of a, a little bit of a, a cruelty to it. Um, and this piece, um, the title Bridal, you could either take as um, the woman is kind of uh, the diamonds in her mouth, she's kind of uh, choking on them as a, a horse would on a bit, or you can kind of say that she, her temper is being bridled by the um, diamonds. Um, I think Minter's work on the surface is aesthetically beautiful and you can fall into the colors, but if you, one dares to dig deeper, you can find other meanings past the glamour and past the kind of feminine mystique that images that she oftentimes uses. Hello, I'm Miles Barth. I'm a senior specialist of photographs at Art at Auctions. I'm here to today to talk a little bit about some of the photographs we have in our upcoming sale of contemporary color photography. Um, the work is from across the globe. Uh, it represents a number of styles and approaches to photography. And I am going to be talking just quickly about two photographers I'm very interested in. Yashomasa Morimura has been compared to the um, great American photographer Cindy Sherman, although he works primarily in Japan. Um, he's been said to be a uh, a great lover of women's clothing and women's makeup, but uh, and he often appears as different famous female personalities, mostly Western personalities, um, as a person who's trying to show how um, images are consumerized and um, conceptualized when someone like a Marilyn Monroe is taken out of context and shown with uh, Japanese features. Um, the picture we have in the exhibition is of Morimura dressed as a dancer. Um, the photograph itself is about eight feet tall by about four and a half feet wide. And um, it's a stunning piece. And again, he is dressed as a female dancer. It, the piece is called Deplinage and it was done just a few years ago and it has rarely come up for auction just a few times in the last four years. 
The other photographer I'm very interested in is someone who is not nearly as well known in this country but has an enormous reputation outside of the United States by the name of Hassan Hajaja. And Hassan is, um, was born in Morocco. Uh, he left Morocco in the 70s to join his father in London and was, was schooled in London at the Royal Academy of Art and is a multi-discipline artist. He designs the fashions that his characters and his photographs wear. Um, his photographs are about the um, consumerization of Eastern cultures by the West, especially in Northern Africa where he works. Um, and he shuttles between London, where he has a studio, and Morocco, where he has a studio. And the works that we're showing in our auction are some of the first ever to be offered in this country for, for the public. Um, and I'm very pleased to be able to incorporate his work in this sale. So just to recap, our sale, which is live right now, um, has 44 lots uh, representing 31 different photographers' works. It will be up for bidding until December 19th, and I hope you will take advantage of contacting any of the specialists who are involved in the sale if you should have any questions. Thanks very much for watching.